All right, so to solve this problem, we're first going to need to establish two variables to show the two different numbers we're looking to find. I'm going to call those variables x and y. x is going to be our larger number, and y is going to equal our smaller number. From there, we're going to use the substitution method, and that is going to require using two different equations. The first equation that we're going to get from our first sentence, the sum of two numbers is 21. So x plus y will equal 21. Second equation I'm going to get from the second sentence, the larger number is 6 less than twice the smaller number. I'm going to, so we're going to, we know that twice the smaller number minus 6 going to equal our larger number. From here, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you this, I am going to replace the x in our first equation with what we solved x for in our second equation. I'm going to do that over here on the right side. So I'm going to substitute 2y minus 6 i put parentheses around that. In for the x in that first equation. And then I'm going to continue on as it's written. Now at this point, we want to solve for y. First step is we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to add in 6 to each side. And that's going to help take away that 6. So we got all of our y's on one side and our numbers on the other. We'll have, leave us with 2y plus y equals, going to equal 27. At this point, we can combine those two y's. 2y plus y is the same as 3y. 27, and now I can divide each side by 3, and that is going to leave us with y equaling 9. So now we know that our smaller number, y, is 9. So our next step, at this point now, we've still got to find our larger number. Smaller number, number equal 9. To solve for the larger number, we have two different options. We can use either one of our the equations, the original equations we've already found. I'm going to use the first one since it's a simpler equation. So we have, all I'm doing is replacing that y with what we've already found it to be. x plus 9 equals 21. Now, at this point, I'm going to subtract 9 from each side, and that is going to equal 12. So our larger number, our larger number is going to be 12 makes our answer 9 and 12 right here. Those are our answers. And if you want to go back and check your work, you can just plug those both into those original equations we found, and they should come up and equal correctly.